Okay. <laughs> now then, you do love this figure. I am very attracted to it. Yeah. <laughs> In the nicest possible manner. <laughs> I've been chasing this for over 20 years. You haven't? I have indeed. Really? It took me 20 years to buy it. My goodness me. I'll tell you all about it later. Okay, so what are we going to be looking at in this video? We're going to be talking about statuary. All right. Externally, initially, and I'll show you some more things inside. Okay, so you're going to show me so, your favourite pieces? Oh, uh, they're all favourites. Yeah, well, I'll show you some pieces. So, okay. Um, the first item is this gorgeous urn by Pullen Pottery. Right. Uh, 19th century. Goodness That's, gracious. I uh, love the neoclassical look of it. Oh, he's gorgeous. And you think of that, you know, just in the centre of a driveway. Yes. Gorgeous. And in very, very good condition. Yeah. Nicely detailed. And rare. Is it particularly rare? Uh, yeah, first one I've seen. <laughs> really? In, in in a very long time, and you've been looking for these well, I've things? Been for... in, I've been in statuary since 82. So right, okay. It literally is the first one I've seen. Is it really? Yeah. Goodness me. Okay. Made from? It's terracotta. What a statement piece, yeah. isn't it? These pieces all were, all were influenced by Eleanor Code, who started in the 18th century. Right. And she developed a process of firing the clay more than once. Yeah. It gave a very fine finish to the object, but also made them frostproof. Oh, right. She, I think she went out of business in the 1820s. It must have um, been rare to have a, a, a she, woman she, running a business oh, like rare that. Rare to have a woman running a business, but you'll see her work throughout London. Right. She did columns, she did doorways, she did lots of statuary, right. coats of arms, everything you can imagine. Wow. That so, this, is... so this is a, it came after her work. Okay, so but, it, but very much inspired by her. Got, got to have been. Okay, got fantastic. Been. Value on that, Ken? This one's selling for 24,000. 24, okay. Yep. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Okay, what else are we going to look at? Well, if we spin round here, yeah. we can look at, again, uh, 19th century. Yeah. This, this one, let me just check because I get my names mixed up. This is Blashfield. In fact, it's dated 1870. 1870. So again, totally influenced by Eleanor Code's work. You can see that the detail's beautiful. She's stunning, isn't she? She really is. So again, 19th century, very 19th century. classical, obviously Romanesque. Very much you know. so. I mean, if you look at all the detail on, the, on it, gorgeous, love them. And they're really rare. Yes. So on the original pedestal, Incredible. How on earth do you move these things around the country? Very carefully. Extremely carefully. <laughs> and of course you will ask me about price. You know I'm gonna ask you, you about price. Ask me prices. Go on, how much is she? That's forty-five thousand. Forty five thousand, fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, very I good. Go flora. Flora. And really you should stand this side first of you. Okay. And you'll get a feeling of it. Hello, Flora. <laughs> so this is by Pullum, again, who did the urn. Yes. So we're, we're again 1860, 1870 in day. But just, she's startlingly beautiful. Her hair, gorgeous. She really is. Yeah. She really is. My goodness me. But just to get the scale as well. Well, you need, a, you need someone small standing next to it. <laughs> look at you. Look at that. My goodness me. Uh, I mean, these are genuinely, I don't know if you'll see any statues like this on the market. You probably won't. I mean, you know, when I'm... I'm not aware of them. Well, when I'm travelling around filming programmes for the BBC all over the United Kingdom, I never see them. Okay. Ever They're see very them. Very interesting. Ever. Yeah. I've seen some recently in a couple of country houses. Yeah. That... Uh, Poor quality, not by this, not by these manufacturers. Yes. And how much is Flora? She's sixty-five thousand. Sixty-five, it's getting more yeah. expensive. Some of them are. Yeah. Yes. Watch yourself. Oh, behind. I know. I'm always falling over at your place. <laughs> <laughs> and again, beautiful. Oh, goodness me. Series, Blashfield. Oh, sorry, Compton. Compton. Yeah. But look at this classical. Goodness me. Confident. 
Isn't she just yeah. fantastic? Any restoration on these things? Uh, there might be a cleaning. Would you expect to see some restoration? Well, if you look at the weathering on it, yeah, I mean, it's quite incredible. And that's nice to see, isn't yeah. it? It's a good indicator as to age. Oh, they're lovely. They're beautiful. And it's some sort of date, um, 1870? Same, same sort of date. And yeah. slightly cheaper than Flora. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. 45,000. 45,000. Okay. Well, <laughs> find another. Exactly. Mm. This is a delightful French terracotta. She's obviously a, uh, a sculpting mistress. She's got the pencil in her hand. Yeah. She's uh, on a Corinthian column. She's got a tablet. Uh, charming. Wow. Charming figure. Much smaller scale. Much smaller scale. Would... Uh, not, not in the same category, but okay. still very good. I don't know who the artist is, even though it's signed yeah. JD. I'm yet to find out. Um, I think that's about 14,000. 14. And yeah. are, are the smaller scale pieces much easier to sell? Not in the slightest. Really? No, and not pro rata necessarily cheaper. Okay. I'll show you something inside that's quite small and quite expensive. Okay, shall we head <laughs> on inside then? Uh, I think so. That's that's uh, Christopher Dresser for Colebrookdale. Oh my goodness me, two very big names there. Lovely, beautiful. I didn't know Dresser designed for Colebrookdale. Oh, yes. Mind you, I suppose he did design for a lot of companies, didn't yeah. he? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I patinated that myself. Oh, did so you? You're very iron. good. And I just played with what came out. You're that, very good, that Ken. To me. And that bench is, I think it's around about 9,000. Right. Yeah. Well, Colebrook Dale is 9,000 all day long, isn't it? Oh, all day long. An auction, and I've, I've had well in excess of 20,000 yeah. pounds for, for yeah. Colebrook Dale pieces. Fantastic. But he does speak well. And patinated by Ken. <laughs> <laughs> Great marble fountain. Is that actually marble? That's marble. My goodness the original gracious. Roman. Of course. This is a 19th century copy. Oh, Ken, but I again, love that. that just in the right setting. Yes. Stunning. Well, this is the right this is, setting this when it's what finished. Makes me, I love doing this. Yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Love finding them, yeah. setting them up, selling them. As I said, we have a disaster with the pond at the moment, but yeah. once we get over that, this will flow. But hang on a minute. What, what, once this thing is in position, the pond is finished, the water is flowing, it will be for sale. It's for sale now, I hate to tell you. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. I, you'd go to all that effort to dress it up and then, then you would sell it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, fair yeah. enough. What sort of money? Uh, that one's 85,000. 85, 000. 85. Yeah. okay. Well, let me know what you think, viewers. Ken will deliver it anywhere in the world. Well, perhaps. You will, won't you, Ken? <laughs> I will deliver it. I have delivered all over the world, yes. Even things like that? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I suppose it's not... It's not... One, I, I, I had a pair of Indian marble temples. <laughs> Did you? And I sold one to a client in St. Bart's. Right. And we went out there and delivered it. <laughs> Did you go yourself? I flew out to look after the, the situation. Oh, yeah. come on. This was just a jolly for you, We're obviously. going over here. Where are we going? So, one of the best. This is Eleanor Code. Oh, wow. So, I... They're in fantastic condition. Oh, okay. They have had some cleaning and some restoration, but by a top man. Yeah. In the UK. And the detail is just... Oh my goodness, mate. Date wise. These, uh, 1793. Oh, George the Third. Yeah. Oh, Ken, they are absolutely they? delicious. Really, really, really good. I mean, when do you ever see these things? Where do you see these things? You Just find, they find me. Do they find you? Everyone says, How do you buy your stuff? And I said, Well, they find me. Is it because people know who you are? They know of your reputation. Uh, they, uh, do, do you get an email with a picture? So but it's more conversation than anything else. I don't yeah. know why. Yeah. It's not purposeful, but people do talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> well, we were looking at a frink earlier. Yeah. And a friend of mine says, oh, I've got a probate on a frink. I need to talk to you about it. Right. Okay. So that's how they come up. So it's wheels within wheels, isn't it? It is, yes. Yeah. yes. And, and value on these two? These are £120,000 for the pair. Right. Well, why wouldn't they be? <laughs> why should, Why is not? There's another great discovery here. That was a telephone call from a 
good friend of mine within the trade. And he said, uh, have a look at this auction. Yeah. Tell me what you think. So this was being advertised in the auction as a 19th century marble urn. Right. It was covered in everything you could imagine had yeah. it been outside. I recognised what it is. And? and so did he. That's why I sent me the photograph. Right. So you're looking at an early 18th century wine cooler. Oh, you are kidding I'm me. not kidding you. And it's the largest one I've ever owned. Well, you can understand how somebody put that in the garden, but it's a wine cooler. Yeah, yeah. Out of what kind of house, Ken? Oh, it would be a that... mega major country house. Mega. I was up at I was up at Starhead House uh, at Christmas last, so that's ten months ago, whatever it was. And funnily enough, they have a wine cooler in the entrance hall, oh. about a third the size of this, without its pedestal, oh, without, my. without its sockle. Goodness so that gracious. Was a great discovery. We very, very, very carefully cleaned it. Yeah. Um, we spent £7,000 just cleaning it. Did you really? Yeah. Okay. But there's no pressure on the man because what we didn't want to do was lose any detail. No. We didn't want to do any recarving. We wanted just to get back to where it should be. Can you imagine? Have you used this yet as a wine cooler? Yeah. <laughs> of course Every you have. Every party we have is full of champagne. Oh, my goodness. So, Can yeah. Can you imagine the tales? And again, itself? that's the joy of yeah. what we do. Well, you're a treasure hunter, aren't you? I suppose so. You are. <laughs> Thought of it that way. And you'd need an awful lot of treasure to buy that, Ken. Well, I always say to particularly lady clients, yeah, um, I've I've got the job that everyone would die for. Yeah, I've got to go shopping. <laughs> yeah, you if do. I don't go shopping, yeah, we've got nothing to sell. That's very true. So and, I, I shop. I've and, shopped fifty years. <laughs> and it's the shopping that is the fun bed, isn't it? A lot of dealers say that. I actually love all aspects of it. Yeah. I've always retailed. I retailed yeah. in Switzerland for ten years. Yeah. We had a great following. I retail through my previous company. So you like so meeting people as I well? I love it. Yeah, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I don't, okay. want, don't want to sell, sell it by post all the time. No. I need communication. Yeah, okay. That feeds and understanding. you. understanding. That feeds you. Okay. Ken, value, please. Value, I would think in excess of 60,000. Right. Uh, we've got it priced to 45. Right. So we're making a very good profit on it, but we deserve it because we discovered it. You did discover it. And, and we did pay for it and we paid to restore it properly. Fantastic. So. Wowzer. Okay, what else have we got? Um, you did mention this little fella. Okay, come back to this little fella. So this little fella was in the office of dear friends of mine, uh, Summer Place Auctions, which was uh, Rupert and James who ran it for... Crikey, I don't know how many years. Yeah. And every time I went in the office, I asked to buy it. Yeah. And it was never for sale. Right. James has gone into retirement. Yeah. Uh, the last auction, this was in the catalogue. Was it really? So they had it in the catalogue at two to three thousand pounds. Yeah. 18th century or earlier. Yeah. I paid 12,000 pounds for it. Did you really? Yeah, because I think it's Roman. You don't? I do. Oh, my goodness me. Let me have a look at that. So you're thinking he's 1,700 to 2,000 years old? Yeah. Oh, Ken. I do. Oh. I've had someone else look at it who has reasonable knowledge and they kind of agree with me. So I'll take it to the British Museum and see what they say. Isn't that, And that's why you've been after him for 20 years. I uh, I liked the patina 20 years ago. <laughs> I'm not into collecting young naked boys. No. <laughs> you just or wanna... young naked girls, for that matter. <laughs> you just want to stress that point. <laughs> just these days, it's probably safer too. <laughs> oh, but he I'll is. Let, I'll let you know the outcome. Do. Because it will be once I've gone oh. through and hopefully proved my point. Yeah. Then I'll be offering it to a museum. And it'll be... Well, if there's a private client, Fantastic. obviously they'd be welcome. And it'd be a lot, a lot of money. It'd be a reasonable amount. <laughs> I'm entitled will. to profits. On my ordinary things, I take 30 40% sure. and pay the tax. Yes. Uh, you know, on discoveries, 
It could be any amount, it can't it? Any amount. Of course. It's yeah. like it's like literally digging up treasure. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. <sighs> Anything else? Finally. Go on. On stature. There's two gorgeous objects here. These are both by Compton Pottery, who were a group towards the end of the 19th century in, in Britain. Yeah. And they started doing this very artistic pottery. So this is St. Francis of Assisi. Right. With the bird in his Yeah, hand. yeah. Worn, as you can see. Yes. He's lived outside all his life. You, you, have, you haven't cleaned him up or restored him at all? I won't. I don't want to in this no. instance. But I'd love, the, you know, just the gentleness in his face. Yes. Um, and I, it's a lovely figure. He really is. Yeah. And, you know, cleaned up, he could sit inside very well. In fact, he sits inside well, I, as he, he is. He doesn't need cleaning. Do you know, you're Don't right. Touch him. You're oh, right. right, you're right. Just put him in your hallway. Yeah. yeah. You're so right. Love it. Yeah. Love it. Value? That's, uh, um, that's just under 5,000, 4,600 pounds. Right. Which I think is very reasonable for a rare, rare figure. I don't know if there's been any others.